Mezzo Allegro, taken from the last movement of Handel's Eighth Concerto Grosso, is not one of the easiest choices at grade four. It is one of my pupils' favourites though, and I think that's because the phrasing just happens so naturally, and the bowing choices in this ABRSM edition just really help bring that out. I'd like to talk about a few fingering options that are going to make things a bit easier. So we're going to start by looking at bars 7 and 23. I'd like to suggest shifting after the first note rather than across the semiquavers. So in bar 7 like this. And then in bar 23 like this. That's going to buy us a little bit more extra time for that shift and hopefully ensure it's a bit more accurate. Open strings generally work pretty well in baroque repertoire like this, but pupils by this level should be aware of the option of stopping the G on the D string and where we might decide to do that. And for me, a prime example is in bars eight and nine. So in bar eight, we're going to start off in first position, shift a semitone up into second position to play the F sharp and G on two four. And then we're already in position and in tune to play bar nine. Otherwise, if we do that on an open string, we've got this really awkward string crossing, which is probably going to sound a bit rubbish. Hard work really does pay off in this piece, and the modulations are just so interesting that I think it's going to be a really rewarding piece for pupils to learn.